Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode. In today's episode, it's Monday Motivation, and we're gonna be talking about your worth, knowing your worth. Um, and that's what we're gonna be talking about today because it's a very important uh, uh, subject that I think we need to cover. Because even me, sometimes I need a reminder. You know, for example, uh, the reason I'm making this video is because uh, last week on my travel channel, I actually posted a video talking about this you know basically um because i get a lot of inquiries from all kinds of people from all kinds of things right and um basically people um you know for the most part they know my value you know what i mean meaning uh or, or you know the value of my time value me value you know what i mean all that good stuff so for the most part it's always positive 99.99 percent of the time it's very positive but every once in a while you know i'll get you know individuals out there that uh which again i'm sure you guys have uh inquired a similar situation in your life you know where people um just um take advantage of your kindness and uh all of a sudden they want more than what you're giving them you know and so you know you gotta know your worth you know you gotta put you know again it goes back to like what we were talking about in the previous monday motivations very recently um about you know you got to take care of yourself you got to take care of you number one first and foremost if you don't take care of yourself you're not going to be able to take care of anybody or, or do anything like that you know so that's why that's very very important you know um so you know to piggyback off of that you know um you know part of the whole taking care of yourself thing is knowing your worth and so you know when you're out there and uh, you're looking for work or to get paid or anything like that you got to make sure that you ask for the the right amount and um, a lot of people always undersell themselves and they think that they're worth a lot less than what they actually are um, and all that so it's uh you know there's a lot of uh you know variations to this and you know we're gonna be kind of talking about that but you know just going back to like you know again my personal story the reason I bring those up is because just telling my story is enough of a, um, of enough of a you know what I mean like um, a tool you know to help uh, you out there for the most part so you know you know to talk about that now you know what I mean like uh, you know back back to what you know my whole story was you know in which uh, um, yeah I lost my train of thought with the whole story so you know what i was gonna say was the fact that like um as uh you, um i was making that video from last week you know i didn't want to make it you know like um i was just a little frustrated because i was getting a lot of people out there um asking too much of me you know what i mean and again everything i do here is for free and everything i do here is uh you know for me you know what i mean i want to do these videos i want to create this this is fun this is i want to keep it that way i want to keep it fun i don't want this to be a job i don't want this to be a thing that i have to do you know what i mean or i have to do a certain way and all that good stuff no 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 you know this has to be you know something that i it's something that i want to wake up in the morning and do no matter what and so far so good but every once in a while it gets a little difficult when people you know go um, out of their way to you know again you know ask a little bit too much of me you know um and the same thing could go for you you know what i mean where you know all of a sudden people start taking advantage of the fact of who you are what you do whatever you know how you you know just how you are as a person and then all of a sudden you know they want to you know again just take advantage of uh, your kindness you know um take it to the next level and then you know you because you're such a nice person such a nice you know guy gal what you end up doing is that you you know you start um you know you can't say no you can't um you know um all of a sudden like uh put your foot down you know and all that good stuff and then it becomes frustrating to you it becomes very you know like what am i gonna do you know what am i how am i gonna fix this how am i gonna you mean rectify this you know again just going back to knowing your worth and sometimes you gotta say no and sometimes you gotta you know um you know there's other there's many ways in which you can say no many many ways and so you know one of the ways in which uh you know many anyways many ways in which you can say no i mean and uh, a lot of times it doesn't have to just be hey no i'm like you know yada 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 but it has to come in the sense in the term you know like in a nicer way in a nicer form and all this other good stuff 
Now, sorry, I, I don't want to lose too too much of my train of thought here, you know. But uh, let's get back to like the know your worth thing, because I got know this is all part of that. But I was already starting to diverge here. So, going back to like the whole know your worth uh, thing, um, you know, again, it goes and it comes in many many shapes and form. You got to know your worth, you know, so that you are able to at a job, you know what I mean? You know, whether you're working for somebody or you know you are working for yourself and you have you know clients and and all this other good stuff, you know, you got to know your worth and you can't sell yourself too short. And again, um, you know, the sell too short thing, you know, can be easily. The easy, the easy way to look at this, the easy way to look at this is um, looking at it, you know, through the monetary terms and the whole financial um, aspect of it, you know. But the reality is, is like you got to know your worth in every aspect of your life. You know, what I mean, you got to know who you are and what you're worth, and uh, and why you know you and your time are important, and why you know you are an important person in this world, because uh, otherwise, you know, <laughs> you're not gonna have a good time. You're not gonna have a fun time uh, living this life. You know, as uh, people. You know, you end up being the victim. People end up taking advantage of you. You know, again, not to your, you know, not to their fault. You know, more to your fault because you're too nice. And then you're like, oh my god, but I'm such a nice person and I do so many things. Blah, blah, blah. But no, man. You know what I mean? Like the reality is, is that, like, so again, going back to my example, you know, um, I was too nice. You know, I was being way too nice. I'm always way too nice, okay? But that's okay. I want to be nice. Um, but because I'm so nice, and look at this guy here. Since I'm so nice and such a good person. Um, yeah, let me just get out of here. You know, don't, don't, uh, tempt fate here, right? So, anyway, so back to what I was saying. Because I'm such a nice person that gives away a lot of free knowledge and does a lot of, uh, you know, you know, videos and uh, I have a website and I have so many things in which I'm giving you guys free knowledge and, you know, free knowledge in many ways. You know what I mean? How to move out here. How to bake a key lime pie. By the way, check out my, my website. Check out my key lime pie recipe video. Check out all these uh, things that I'm always making. But anyways, you know, how to move out here. You know, how to make a key lime pie. How to invest your this. How to, how to you know, how to do many, many, many fucking things. You know what I mean? Um, and But mainly more than anything, you know, one of the things that I really show you here is how to be um, self-sufficient. You know, how to, you know, not have to rely on anyone or anything. And, uh, you know, be able to take care of uh, yourself. Be able to take care of uh you know business without having to rely on anyone or anything uh and um that's real freedom you know the fact that you don't have to rely on anyone or anything except yourself um but it takes a lot of work as you know that you know what i mean that's why you know i'm out here doing these things you know and this is all part of this whole uh you know monday motivation situation here but you know going back to know your worth man you know know your worth to the point where you know don't sell yourself short in any stretch of the imagination you're only doing yourself harm for no reason you know you need to pump yourself up to the point of being obnoxious and let life knock you down now again you know what i mean everyone has their point and how much they can do you know what i mean and uh you know but you know what i'm saying you, just use that as a metaphor use that as a you know um a jumping off point but that's basically it you know what i mean it's not really that complicated but you really just got to go out there and do that work and put in that work and put in that effort to make sure that uh, you know these you know that that is a reality you know what i mean like you know in order the reason that i know my worth is because i've realized you know that i have two options you know what i mean i can fucking sit here and sell myself short and cheap or you know i can fucking put myself out there and uh, you know put the real price of what I think my services are and uh, and what my time is worth and um, you know end up with that you know what I mean so it's very simple if I think my time is worth five dollars an hour then that's what I'm gonna get from the universe if I think my time is worth twenty five dollars an hour well that's what I'm gonna get from the universe and that's it and uh, by the way that is what my time is worth at the moment you know just twenty five bucks an hour you know for most things and uh, that's it I think it's a fair price um, and again you know what I mean I'm not asking you to give me money I'm, i never ask you guys to donate or anything like that i don't do any of these things you know what i mean i just make videos i, I provide you know free content on every single level and uh eventually the universe rains on me you know what i mean it gives me what i want what i need um and that's it you know what i mean i don't need much and i don't want much but again 
I, I want a lot, you know what I mean? That's not just, you know, and I'm not sitting here, you know, sitting, uh, pretending that, like I don't want a lot, I do. But you know what I'm saying, to the point where I'm not here, you know, um, asking more than what I know I deserve, all right? And that's it, you know what I mean? That's as simple as that. Um, I'm, I came all the way over here, you know, a little segue. I came all the way over here because I have to see if this guy's selling something for Christian. So let me talk to this guy for a minute because I think uh, I'm, I, there's a tamale guy around here I gotta find and I'm trying to focus on two things here. So let me uh, work on that and we'll be back in a second. <laughs> All right, well, the guy wasn't here. The tamale guy wasn't here. Uh, I just asked around and they're like, oh no, he's not here yet, yada, yada, yada. He comes a little later. Um, so I was like, all right, whatever. You know what I mean? I just uh, go home. I, again, I came out here to record because, you know, the, the sun's about to go down. We're about to change the time. In fact, by the time you're watching this, the time change has already occurred. Yeah, you know, I hate it too. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's uh, you know, this is a pregame. You, you already know how it is. Um, with the ch time change. Anyway, sorry, so get back to what we were talking about. Um, you know, this is why I love Mexico, things like that. Look at this. Look at this, this is awesome. I fucking love that. By the way, I just realized, I don't know if uh, you're gonna be able to see me correctly because I forgot that I didn't have the wide angle here today because I was filming something else. Is it wide angle? I'm not quite sure. Anyways. Fuck it, we're doing this. All right, guys, so, you know, back to what I was saying, you know. Um, again, guys, you know, you gotta give you, you know, you gotta know your worth. So, you know, again, back to my the example of me, you know, sorry about all the rambling on the last 10 minutes, but, um, you know, you know, basically it was like this, you know, for the longest time, I never gave, you know, I never uh, put out my worth, you know what I mean? I never asked for my worth. I was always, uh, you know, undervalued, you know what I mean? I was always, you know, like, Oh my god, life fucking sucks, man. You know what I mean? Like, no one cares, no one values me or what I do, and yada, 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 and all this other stuff. And, you know, I quickly, I, you know, what I did in order to resolve that was to change that around. I, what I had to do was, like, I had to look into myself, do some, you know, um, self, you know, um, what is it? I had to get self conscious. I had to do some self, uh, self, uh, uh, how do I say this? What's the word I'm looking for? I had to do some self um, auditing. I had to audit myself, okay? And I had to make a list of, uh, you know, pretty much, you know, all the reasons as to why I am not worth and I'm not worthy. And uh, once I made that list and I realized, hey, you know, these are all the fucking things that are wrong with me, um, I need to fix. And then I fixed these things. And that's it. You know what I mean? It really wasn't that that difficult. You know what I mean? It's, um, you know, back to all that stuff that I'm always talking about, you know, about the truth. You got to be very truthful with yourself and all that good stuff. You know what I mean? So, you know, going back to that, you know what I mean? Like, um, when you self audit and you're being truthful to yourself, you know, for the first time ever, um, and all of a sudden you fix all these things that are wrong with you, um, then all of a sudden you realize, oh, okay, that's why I was only worth $10 an hour or whatever the fuck. It's because... I would I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have hired me for a fucking eight what the fuck I'm lucky I got ten and, or whatever you know what I mean remember you got a metaphor of this all right you use it for a million things so it's the same fucking thing so you know when it came to me you know I did that I went through that blah 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 and then what happened was is like as I started fixing myself and bettering myself and becoming the person that I really wanted to be and I started really you know getting to that point where I was like fuck you know what I mean like I'm here to, you know what I mean? This is, you know, I'm now I'm worthy, you know? Now, you know, um, I, I, I feel, um, again, worthy enough, you know what I mean? As to, okay, you know, I, I deserve to get paid a certain amount of money for what I do, whatever that is. In my case, you guys already know, <laughs> you know what, you know what that situation is. Um, but regardless, yeah, I'm like lost out here. I'm just trying to figure out my way back home. but. You know, regardless, you know what I mean? You, you know, you, I think this way, you got to figure out, you know, your, your worth. You feel me? You need to literally um, figure out what you're worth, all right, in your eyes. And then you need to go out there. And if you already, you know, got your shit together and you're like, fuck, I know this is what I'm worth. Well, then go get it. You know, whatever that is. You know what I mean? It could be money. It could be us. Uh, um, 
uh, a girlfriend, you know what I mean? Boyfriend, you know, a spouse, whatever. It could be a, uh, a million fucking things. There's a million things. But you got to go out there and you got to make it happen. You got to go out there and uh, make these things a reality, you know? And like, uh, you know, simply, you know, um, playing the victim is not going to work, you know what I mean? So when you are playing the victim, for example, you're not giving yourself worth. You're worth crap. You're, you know, you're not... You know, you're playing the victim. You are the victim. You know, what are you worth? Nothing. But if all of a sudden, you know what I mean? Like, uh, you're not the victim anymore. And you're out there getting it. And you're out there doing things. And you're out there, you know what I mean? And you already know. I don't got to tell you. I um, mean, if you don't know, then you got to get to work. But the point, point is, is that once you're out there doing things, all of a sudden it's like, oh, wait a minute. This is what I'm worth. And then, and, and then once you know what you're worth, then you start improving on that. You're like, oh, wait a minute. You know what I mean, like if I want to get more, I, I need to do this, this and that in order to make that more money. Oh, wait a minute. If I want this girlfriend or wife, I need to do this, this and that in order to get that. Oh, wait a minute. If I want, you know, to be CEO of this company. Oh, if I want to do, you know, X, Y, Z. If I want to have my own company. If I want to, you know, whatever, be, have a successful YouTube channel. If I want to live a dream life out here in Mexico, whatever the fuck it is. You know what you got to do and you got to constantly work on these things and constantly improve and put again that work in constantly and that's how you'll get there you know what i mean you'll definitely get there you know most of us get there hola what you gusto mucho gusto amigo adios adios um yeah you know what i mean just basically that's what you got to do you got to put in that fucking work if you don't put in that work you know what i mean like uh in the case here then you or your worth is not much you know, and that's it. You know what I mean? That's why you might even feel frustrated. You're not frustrated at your boss that's not paying you. You know what I mean? You're not frustrated at that. You know what I mean? You're frustrated more um, at the fact that you know deep down inside that you're not worth X, Y, Z. And you're fucking ask, asking for X, Y, Z, knowing fully well, you know what I mean? That you haven't done in that work and you're lying not just to yourself, but you're lying to them. All right? Whether it's in a relationship. Whether it's at work, whether it's a, it's a million fucking things. And so you are worthy. You're one million percent worthy, all right? Um, and you should be paid. Again, if you want to get paid a million dollars an hour, then you should get that. You know what I mean? Like, um, I don't think I'm worth a million dollars an hour yet. Maybe it's something in the future through inflation and other... <laughs> no, but seriously. Uh, because, you know, I, I don't... You know, I'm good. You know what I mean? Like, um, if eventually I get to the point where I think I'm worth a lot more than 25 bucks an hour then we'll get there how will i know that when i have less and less time to handle the overflow of clients so if all of a sudden i have more clients than time then i need to charge more to weed out the ones that cannot afford me so that i can you know work with the ones that can't afford me and i'm not trying to you know be you know, uh, fucking, you know, pompous over here or anything like that. But this is the reality, at least with what I do, okay? If I'm doing some other, like, maybe charity work or doing some other, you know, kind of shit, you know, it's like it's a little different. You might pick your clients a little differently, you know? And I do. I get to choose who I want to work with. I'm, I'm not choosing it only on money. You know, basically, you know what I mean? My life is very, very, very different. I'm more like that kind of life. You feel me? You understand? Like, I want to... I'm just... I, I'm chilling, bro. You know what I mean? So it's you know i can have the most obnoxious client in the world and he will pay me a hundred dollars an hour and i'll be like no way no thanks i'd rather have the person that can only afford two hours of my services and i'll give them four um but we get along great because again you know there, there's someone i can actually talk to and get along with and maybe have a beer with and i'm like you know what that guy's worth my time that guy's worth you know all these things and so like i said you know i can easily make hundreds of dollars and be pulling out my hair and hating my life or I could be making just enough doing what I love. And again, with everything, and you know, again, this goes to everything. It's not just money. So why do something, you, why starve? Okay, starve emotionally, starve financially, starve, you know what I mean? Intellectually, starve in every single way humanly possible. Why starve? Well, sorry, yeah, I lost train of thought. My brain was starving. No, anyway, so seriously, why starve? doing something you hate when you can easily starve doing something you love okay so think about that so you know a lot of people are like oh i don't want to do xyz because um i'm not gonna make enough money i'm not gonna survive i'm not gonna actually you know whatever the fuck and i keep telling you you know what i mean like it doesn't matter 
You know what I mean? That shouldn't matter. You know what I mean? If you, um, you know, with the whole survival thing, you know what I mean? Like, again, you know what I mean? Like, it's all about doing what you love. You know what I mean? And if you're starving either way, do what you love. You know what I mean? Just do what you love. And so that's it. Once you do what you love, everything really gets to the next level. Everything really, all of a sudden, changes and, uh, really life starts to become, to become awesome but it all starts with being honest and once you're being honest with yourself once you're 1000 percent honest with everything as hard as that might sound man that's when you really really get to that next level and uh you know not only are you going to know your worth but you're going to be able to get what you're worth and more trust me all right so all right guys I really hope you guys enjoyed today's episode, you know, walking around the neighborhood as the sun is coming down uh, and just talking, walking and talking, you know, doing our little Monday motivation. I hope you guys, ho hope you guys are also enjoying all the videos on all the channels and everything I'm doing so far. If you're curious, check out my website, joseadiaga.com, where you can find everything, you know, every single video, every single content thing that I do, every single um, help, you know, helpline, you know what I mean? Like every kind of, you know, any, anything you might want and think of check out my website and uh, you'll see what I mean. All right, guys. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share. Please hit that bell icon. But more important than anything else, stay awesome. All right, I gotta, I gotta get running. These dogs are coming after me. Bye. And so <laughs> the reason you're feeling that is I wanna bring value. Like I try to, like I put out all my best shit. Like people email me every single day saying, I make more money because of you. I'm happier because of you. I had this conversation with my mom because of you. Yeah. I'm putting out content every day that basically is the best shit I got. I'm not trying to, a lot of people in my world, they try to like sell mastermind classes or thousand dollar courses. Not me, on Facebook and YouTube and Snapchat, I'm just putting out my best, whatever I got. Yeah. My best tactics I'm putting out. I just posted something today about how to gain followers on Snapchat. Every single way I know how, what I realize is 99% of people ain't gonna do shit about it. They're not gonna do dick. They're yeah. gonna read it, they're gonna be like, yeah. And then fucking the next Tuesday is gonna show up. They're not gonna apply it. Bingo. And so what I realize is like, fuck it. I'll give away all the best shit because nobody's gonna do anything about it. People are gonna love me for it. I'm gonna have leverage and that's it. Like I love, you know how nice that is to hear that I motivate you or yeah. you know how nice it is to wake up in the morning and get 15 emails saying shit like you changed my life. Yeah, right. And so I'm trying. So you're banking on people's no. laziness. A Andrew Schultz, Gary Vaynerchuk. Yeah, what's up, hey, man? How you doing? Real yeah, pleasure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, Andrew. I'm, you know what? I'm not even, I'm banking on reality. I yeah. know people are lazy. I know, I know what's going on. It's the truth. Yeah. People, people like straight up, most people are wired to lose. Yeah. They conform. They're just why they're not. And actually, you know what's crazy? I, I'll give you another angle on why I'm putting out all my shit. Mm -hmm. I feel guilty. I feel guilty that I got so lucky that yeah. I have this DNA. I feel like I want to give back. You got to uh -huh. give that information up. I feel guilty that my mom's in a world where the immigrants that I grew up with, everybody had to go to school. That my mom let me be me. Mm. You know, in a world where I was getting D's and F's, yeah. she let me be my entrepreneurial self when in 1992 that wasn't the game.